Okay. So. This is the semifinals between uh, Sir Excalibur and Matinator Hacks. From Sir Excalibur's perspective, the winner of this battle, or the winner of this series, uh, will face 241 Mavs Rule in the finals. We will do Sir Excalibur's perspective first for game two we will switch to matinator hacks and if there is a game three we will switch back to excaliburs for that battle if it is a thing so of course let us go ahead and get this started semi-finals action technically restarted thank you comcast uh, right here, right now. Oh, that feeling when, like, the entirety of the thing was literally almost done. And Comcast decided to be a thing. Like, I'd be okay if it had, like, you know, hit us, like, a few turns into, like, the second battle. Like, oh, I could just, like, you know. Yeah. But, like, oh, no, I had to hit it, like, Close to the end of this one. So Gyarados is going to go Mega here, and here's Earthquake. Going to do a huge amount of damage to the Magirna. Magirna is going to Volt Switch. Do a large chunk to the Gyarados. Here's Tapu Bulu for uh, Matt. Out goes the Gyarados. In comes the Piyuku Muku. We're going to see a superpower by Tapu Bulu. Take a nice chunk off of the Piyuku Muku. Now the field here is actually going to benefit uh, Piyuku Muku here just a little bit more because the um, field itself and I believe the item? I didn't see leftovers. Okay, no. Never mind. And here's Ferrothorn. Piyuku Muku is going to reuse Recover. Now here's Reflect by Piyuku Muku. There's Leech Seed by Ferrothorn. So out goes the Ferrothorn after setting up rocks. In comes the Charizard. Here's Psychic, and Charizard's gonna survive this shot. That is now going to switch the Charizard out in an attempt to save it, and here is Ferrothorn. Here's Psychic from Tapu Lele. Another Psychic from Lollipop, and that's going to take about take him down to half health. Here's Leech Seed. So here's Komala for Excalibur. 
There's Gyro Ball. Gonna take a nice chunk off of the Komala. Here's Earthquake from Komala, followed by Leech Seed. See return into Furothorn. There's spikes from Furothorn. So there's Rapid Spin from Kamala, and that's going to knock out the Kamala. Now, because Rapid Spin... Because it did not, um... Because Kamala did not survive after Rapid Spinning, it actually does not remove the hazards at all. So I think what the two layer of spikes and the uh two layer of spikes and the uh the uh stealth rocks are still up. Here's Leaf Blade, not enough to knock it out, gets the critical hit, and here is Toxic Spikes. So it's two spikes, one toxic spikes, and stealth rocks on Excalibur's side of the field. Down goes the Tentacruel, and out comes the Tapu Bulu. So out goes the Kartana, in comes the Tapu Lele. Here's Super Power from Tapu Bulu. Out goes Tapu Bulu, in comes the Charizard, here's Hidden Power. Sack play to get the free switch in on, uh, on Garchomp here. Here's Hidden Power. Garchomp is going to get a few turns of uh, Swords Dancing up. See, now right here I feel like the misplay was um, to not Swords Dance again. And just let poison do its work. Could go up to plus four, but he opts to just attack the Tapu Lele and knock it out. Here he is, Piyuku Muku coming in. 
Gonna take stones and spikes and toxic spikes and all the nasty stuff. Here is Earthquake. This is gonna knock out the Piyu Kumuku. Innards out is gonna do a ton of damage to that Garchomp. So here's Sacred Sword, that's gonna knock out this Garchomp. Now we're gonna see Tapu Bulu by Matinator Hacks. Superpower is going to knock out that Kartana. That leaves Sir Excalibur with two Pokemon, his Mega Gyarados and the Type Null. Matinator Hacks has three Pokemon left. That's Ferrothorn, that Tapu Bulu, and Magearna. So out goes Tapu Bulu, in comes the Magirna, here's Thunder Wave. Probably didn't want to get his Tapu Bulu paralyzed, so that was a good switch by Matt in this case. So here's Type Null using Swords Dance, and there's Fleur Cannon missing its mark in this case. A good shot, or a good turn for uh, Sir Excalibur. Commits to return, and it's not enough to knock out the Magirna. Here's Fleur Cannon again. Not enough to knock out the uh, type null. Type null goes for sword stance again. The poison's gonna knock it out here. Here comes the Ferrothorn. Actually, no, I didn't realize about the field. Uh, he might actually survive that poison. Barely gonna survive that poison, actually. If it wasn't for the field, it would have actually not done enough. Uh, to keep him alive. And there's Iron Barb's gonna take care of that Type Null. All Sir Excalibur has left is the Gyarados. So here comes that Gyarados. He's gonna take Rock's damage. He's gonna take Spike's damage. And he's gonna get poisoned. Go see Earthquake from Gyarados, and Ferrothorn is gonna hit Leech Seed. No, it's not, it's gonna avoid it. Or 
personally, I think if this dragon, if this Skeridos is running Dragon Dance, I probably would have gone into Dragon Dance, honestly. Set up first turn. I think he needs to be like what plus two to actually outpace Scarf Ulu. Assuming the uh, Ferrothorn doesn't have any attack in this case, uh, I think a setup would have actually helped Gyarados out a lot, I think. Uh, but of course, good game, well played, guys! Congrats to Matt uh, for winning game one. A 3-0 victory. We will uh, get set up for game two. Give me just a moment to get that situated. We will be using Matt's code, uh, for game two. And hopefully we don't have any Comcast interruptions, cause those are just the best, aren't they? Alright, so, this is game two between these two. Matt currently has a game lead in the series over Sir Excalibur. Matt can go to the finals with a win here, where he will face Mav's Rule... Excalibur can force a pivotal game three with a win here. So let's go ahead and get this started. Gosh, I should ban you for like 20 minutes just to see if that's true. Here's Type Null for Excalibur and uh, Magirna for Matinator Hacks. We're gonna see Volt Switch right off the bat. Out goes the Magirna, in comes the Charizard. We only saw this thing take a Psychic and uh, basically get uh, sacked in our previous or the previous game. Here's a uh, Thunder Wave. We are actually going to see Matinator Hack's Mega Evolution here. Flamethrower does a ton of damage to that type Null. There's another Flamethrower and that is going to do it for type Null. We're gonna see Gyarados come in for Excalibur. Waterfall in the sun. That range Charizard is um not a happy Charizard. All right, so here's Tapu Bulu. Out goes the Gyarados, in comes Tapu Lele. Go 
goes for the wood hammer, and that takes a huge chunk off of Tapu Lele. These are both Scarf Pokemon, so of course Matt does not want to face down, uh, or, you know, attempt to outspeed a Tapu Lele. <laughs> Who could potentially knock it out, but it used Nature's Madness in the, uh... On the switch against Magearna. Good move, considering it was, uh... Against Magearna. This thing just does not want to die. And, uh, there's Volt Switch into Komala. Now we're gonna see Ferrothorn for Matinator Hacks. So there's spikes from Sir Excalibur. Out goes the Ferrothorn. In comes the Tentacruel. There's Leaf Blade. More than enough to knock out the uh, Tentacruel. Gets a critical hit as well. Down goes the Tentacruel, and Sir Excalibur has taken the lead. Now we're going to see Tapu Bulu come in. So very winnable by Matt in this case. Oh, here's Superpower into the uh, Paper Mache Mon. He actually survived that. We're gonna see Smart Strike, down goes Tapu Bulu. Sir Excalibur now has a commanding 5-3 lead over Matinator Hacks. Now here's Ferrothorn for Matt. Sacred Sword. Not enough to knock out the Ferrothorn. Here's Gyro Ball from the Ferrothorn. And that is going to take care of the Kartana. That cuts into that 5-3 uh, lead, making it 4-3. Uh, Although that two Pokemon lead, I'm pretty certain, is coming back, because here's Gyarados and a weakened uh, Ferrothorn. Also, Magirna's, uh less than half uh, health in this case. So we're gonna see Crunch from Gyarados. And down goes that Ferrothorn. So now here's Garchomp for Matt. Gonna use Earthquake on Gyarados. Not enough. Here's Dragon Dance from Gyarados. Waterfall on Gyarados. Not enough. Here's Rock, uh, Rough Skin. And the Flinch. I think that's gonna do it. Gyarados should mop up here. Down goes the Gar or the Garchomp. Just over half health for Magirna. Here's Waterfall. 
down it goes. Sir Excalibur is going to force that game three, guys. He is going to force that game three with a 4-0 victory over Matinator Hacks. And this next one will be from Sir Excalibur's perspective. Give me just a moment to uh, get the code situated. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's a uh, win or go home in this instance for one of these guys. Uh, or both of these guys, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> win or go home. The person that does emerge victorious will take on Mav's rule in the finals. Uh, yeah, you have Sir Excalibur running Mega Gyarados, Kartana, Komala, Type Null, Piyukumuku, and Tapu Lele. Matinator Hacks with Charizard uh, Y, Barothorn, Tentacruel, Tapu Bulu, Magirna, and Garchomp. Swords up for these guys! This has been a great series thus far. Let's get the uh, final battle here underway. Tis win or go home. So here we have Sir Excalibur starting with the same lead as he did last time, uh, Type Null. And we have Ferrothorn lead for Matinator Hacks. Here we're going to see Stealth Rocks come out for Matinator Hacks. And Thunder Wave from Type Null. So out goes the Type Null, in comes the Tapu Lele. Now here's Gyro Ball, and that is going to take down Tapu Lele. Not a very smart play there by Excalibur, considering uh, weaknesses and whatnot. Huge misplay uh, early on. Here's Substitute by Piyukumuku. Now we're going to see Magirna for Matinator Hacks, Reflect by Sir Excalibur. So here's Volt Switch. That should knock out the Substitute. And give Charizard the free switch. And of course, what Piyukumuku wanted to do, which he uh, decides to recover that health. Here's Charizard going Mega and using Solar Beam. Not enough to knock out the Piyukumuku. Here's Baton Pass. Mm -hmm. 
Here's Komala for Excalibur. There goes that Lele field. Out goes the Charizard. In comes the Ferrothorn. Probably gonna make him pay for uh, rapid spinning. For the amount of rapid spin, Iron Barbs does worse to does more to Komala, but it does remove the hazards in this case. So out goes the Komala, in comes Kartana, good switch by Sir Excalibur, going into Leech Seed. Oh, he's gonna double? He's going to double into Gyarados, here's Stealth Rocks though. Eh, I'm not sure that's uh, what he was hoping for. Now we're gonna see Gyarados come or go Mega. So both Megas have uh, shown up in this battle, and here's Dargun Dance. Oh, that 30%. No attack for Ferrothorn. Now here's Crunch by Gyarados. There's Iron Barbs. There's Leech Seed onto Gyarados. There's Crunch again, gets the lucky defense down. Here's more Iron Barbs damage. Oh, the Paralyze! The Para! That 30%! <laughs> um, ooh, does Crunch one shot at that point? And defense down? I don't know. Matt not willing to risk it. Here's Tapu Bulu. Praying for a crunch in this case. Someone made the comment. I think they meant that, uh... I think they said that, uh... Earthquake was a mistake in grassy terrain? Does grassy terrain do something against, uh... Ground type moves, I'm assuming. Yeah, status can go a long way, honestly. So here's Piyukumuku going into a superpower on Tapu Bulu. Excalibur deciding to swap out his Gyarados. He knows it can't outpace the uh, the Bulu at the uh, the range that it is. But there's innards out plus rocky helmet. And Pyukumuku goes down. And now we're gonna see type null come out. Power of moves, earthquake, bulldoze, and magnitude is reduced by 50%. Okay. Okay. I've been doing viewer battles, what, since the since the middle of last month, and I still haven't gotten the uh, the terrain abilities um, down pat, considering they were a Gen 6 thing. Uh, yeah. They just weren't, like, viable until this generation, when they had abilities that could actually set them up. Their Shadow Claw by Type Null onto Ferrothorn... Followed by Leech Seed. Ah, 
Honestly, X Baber, he probably just fits inside the Rocky helmet. <laughs> Anyways, here's Komala for Sir Excalibur. Oh my god, another paralysis on that uh, Ferrothorn there. So here's Rapid Spin from Komala. That's going to remove hazards yet again from Sir Excalibur's side of the field. There's Iron Barb's damage. There's Leech Seed from Ferrothorn. This Ferrothorn is basically what's winning this for Matt. In all honesty. So here's Spikes again. I don't think he set up rocks this time, so I think that's one layer of Spikes by that uh, Ferrothorn. Here's Sacred Sword. Does not do enough. It does about half, over half. Here's Iron Barbs. Here's another layer of Spikes. That basically going in with all the hazards. Out goes the Ferrothorn, in comes the Charizard. This is going to put Sunny Day up. Sacred Sword going to be resisted by Charizard. Looks like a nice chunk off of him, too. So in comes Type Null. Ooh, more damage than I thought it would. So he decides to switch uh, off Flamethrower and go Solar Beam, uh, assuming he was gonna uh, predict a Gyarados switch, I wanna say. Possible Gyarados switch in this case. Anyways, here is Komala for Sir Excalibur. Goes for the Sucker Punch. Followed by the Flamethrower. And down goes that Komala. I almost read Kartana. <laughs> Here is a Night Slash. That is more than enough to knock out the Charizard. That's actually the first knockout of this game on one of Matt's Pokemon. He's gonna get the Beast Boost in attack. Here is Tapu Bulu, however. There's Superpower knocking out Kartana. Here's Gyarados, gonna take some spikes damage. That's definitely within uh, Superpower range. Even at the negative attack and defense, there it is, your winner, ladies and gentlemen, a 5-0 commanding victory, Matt and Nader hacks, good game, well played, congrats to Matt for making it to the finals, your opponent is Mavs Rules, 2-4-1 Mavs Rules, 5-0 victory for Matt and Nader hacks. Uh, and of course, good game, well played to both 
players, those were very entertaining battles.